Hello friends, this is Maria and welcome back to my YouTube channel for another episode of Process Video Thursday. Okay, so recently I had all these 20 pieces coffee mugs hand lettered for a client and after I posted them on my Instagram and Facebook, I've been receiving a lot of inquiries on how to order and questions like how I did it, what pens I used, etc. And so I did a poll on my IG story asking my followers if they would like me to do a video tutorial for this. And as expected, the result was a 100% yes. Although I apologize if it kind of took me a while to upload the video because life has been happening a lot lately. So I hope you guys understand. Moving forward, before I go to the actual demo, let me just show you the calligraphy technique that you need to do whenever you are using a fine or pointed tip markers for writing on ceramic mugs or any other surfaces aside from paper. The basic principle of calligraphy is defining your thin and thick strokes. To just do a quick rundown, when you're doing calligraphy, all the strokes going down must be thick and all the strokes going up must be thin. In this example, I used a brush pen, but writing on mugs, I will be using a pointed tip marker and it will only give me one and the same stroke thickness. So for me to be able to define my thin and thick strokes, I'll be doing a technique called faux calligraphy or fake calligraphy, where I will be shading all my down strokes to make it look thicker like what I'm doing in this video. Okay, now that you already know the technique, it's time to talk about the tools and materials to be used. First off, you need a plain, no print or whatsoever ceramic coffee mugs. Here I have them in two different colors, white and blue. I got them from home center here in Doha, but if you're not from around here, your local shop selling household supplies will probably have them. Then I have here my Stabilo Aquarellable Pencil to sketch out or outline my words first before finally inking them. I'm telling you guys, if you're into calligraphy and lettering, this pencil is a must-have. I learned about this from one of my lettering heroes, Doris Y, aka Love Lettering underscore Doris Y on Instagram. I ordered them from Amazon since it's not locally available. And I will put the link below as to where to order them. Then for the markers, this is another favorite. Sakura Pen Touch Paint Marker in 1mm Fine Tip. I got them from Ibn al Qayyim Bookstore here in Doha. I have them in gold and white colors. The nail polish, remover, and cotton pads are very important as these are what you'll be using to erase or remove the paint in case you make mistakes or if you need to redo your whole work. Now that I have all my tools in place, I'm gonna start writing on this blue coffee mug. Using my Stable Aquarellable Pencil, I will write the word blessed. I wanted to make my handwriting look more whimsical and fun, so I'm going for bounce lettering so I don't need all my letters to be really sitting in one straight line.
Okay, now I'm done with sketching my word blessed and since I am happy about how it looks, I'm gonna go ahead and start inking it using my white Sakura pen touch paint marker. But first, I will be shaking it very well before using and then with this plastic material over here, I'm just going to press the tip multiple times to get the paint running. And then now I'm going ahead and write the letters one by one and shade all the down strokes as I go while the paint is still wet. If you do the shading later on, the paint will probably dry and the paint will be too streaky and I wouldn't want that. I didn't like how I wrote the A sender of my letter D so I decided to erase it with a nail polish remover and a cotton pads and as you can see it was very quick and easy because the paint is still wet but if you have left your coffee mug to dry for a few minutes or at least few hours it's going to be extra difficult to erase or to remove the paint. There you have it! I'm done with my first coffee mug. I'm gonna leave this aside to dry and we'll start working on my white mug. This time using the gold marker, writing the word thankful. Again, I'll be using my stable aquarellable pencil to outline, although you can barely see it because I'm using a white pencil on a white surface, but you will still be able to see some traces. I'll be doing the same process, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video and get back to you later. My white coffee mug is finally done too and I really love this gold paint marker so much that I realized how amazing it would look even more on blue so I decided to redo the design I made a while back. Again I used the nail polish remover and cotton pads and notice how I'm putting extra effort to delete the word blessed because the paint had dried out a little bit already. And now that I've completely erased the word blessed, I'm gonna go ahead and write the quote, but first coffee. Only this time I'm skipping the outlining part because I'm quite used to doing freehand lettering already.
And there you go guys, here are my finished products. Um, I still wanted to do the word bless, so I used another mug in orange color and it turned out really nice with a gold marker. I'm going to leave these mugs to dry for at least 12 hours to make sure that it's really really dry. Although the markers that I use are permanent, others would still want to bake these mugs after lettering to make sure that the paint lasts longer. But for me, as long as you just wash them with water and soap and not scrub them too hard or not putting them into the dishwashing machine, I think the paint will really stay longer. So that's it for now guys. Thank you again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment in the comment section below. If you have some suggestions or requests for tutorials or other topics that you want me to tackle. As always, please share this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell button below to always get notified whenever I upload a new video. And again, thank you very much. This has been Maria and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye guys and always remember, do more of what makes you happy. Bye!